Mind Stow. Imagine that you are standing on a beach, flying a kite across the wind. You feel the strong force from the kite strings. As you fly the kite sideways, you notice that it flies faster, way faster than the wind itself is blowing. Flying a kite across the flow is the same principle, behind Mindstow's patented and award-winning ocean technology. Except, instead of flying on a beach, we fly in the ocean. As water is nearly a thousand times denser than air so the energy is much more concentrated. A balanced renewable energy mix is crucial in advancing the global transition towards a sustainable future energy system. Tidal streams and ocean currents are reliable and inexhaustible, and available all over the globe. To exploit this immense renewable resource, we developed our kite system technology to be lightweight, modular and scalable. This unlocks a predictable renewable energy resource, which in many cases are inaccessible to other technologies. Mindstow's technology generates electricity from tidal streams and ocean currents by a unique and patented principle similar to a kite flying in the wind. The power plant consists of a wing, Stuspin, at the very heart of Switzerland, a world record-holding technical innovation awaits. The steepest funicular railway in the world leads from Schwiz up to the car-free mountain village of Stuz. The journey there is an experience in itself, with passengers being taken up to a natural paradise 1,300 meters up. The technical marvel will delight guests of all ages. The Stuspin reaches a gradient of 110 percent, 47 degrees. It is the steepest funicular railway in the world. What's really fascinating, is that the spherical cabins adapt to the gradient perfectly. This enables passengers to stay upright at all times. The journey from Schwiz to Stuz takes between 4 and 7 minutes. In the process, the Stuzpin covers a total ascent of around 744 meters, and travels over two bridges and through three tunnels. After 1740 meters, the funicular reaches the upper station in the middle of the mountain village. A natural paradise awaits with a wide range of leisure activities. The holiday village of Stuz, sitting at about 1,300 meters up, can be found nestled in the alpine landscape of central Switzerland. There is a wide range of leisure activities on offer, from a hike along the ridge trail Appelmeer 10MGD. Gondola lifts are universal in application and bring passengers to their destinations with speed and comfort in ski areas. At summer resorts and in cities, they harmonize perfectly with their surroundings, both on the mountain and in the urban environment. Operators benefit from their reliability and maintenance friendliness. Passengers enjoy the comfort of modern Omega V cabins. Transport capacity of up to 4,500 passengers per hour and direction. Maximum availability. Maintenance friendly thanks to easy access to all components. Rapid completion time. Modular Omega V cabins with flexible fitting options. Barrier free access. The D-Line gondola known as the Flying Mozart in Wagrain incorporates state-of-the-art features. In the mid-station, our GB lighting in the ceiling indicates whether each cabin is empty or already occupied. This station is located up to 22 meters below ground and is almost entirely integrated into the mountain. A host of ICT functions are included in the ropeway design. The urban ropeway Cableibus Linea 1 has been improving mobility and accessibility in and to Kuidipik since 2021. The state-of-the-art D-Line from Doppelmayr extends the urban transport system in the metropolis of 22 million inhabitants to a new level. Amazon Zooks Robotaxi The Zooks Robotaxi has no steering wheel, no pedals and for inward-facing seats. Last week, I was the first journalist to hitch a ride in one of the vehicles in their eventual launch market, Las Vegas. It's an opportune time to be getting one's arms around the state of Robotaxis. Elon Musk is staking Tesla's future on the concept and has set a date to unveil a vehicle in August. But after years of hype, about fully autonomous vehicles transforming transportation, it remains to be seen whether the technology is ready, and how quickly companies like Zooks will be able to scale it with thousands of cars on the road. Zooks car whisked me through a five-mile loop of public roads not far from the strip across mixed, multi-lane traffic and at speeds of up to 45 miles per hour. The journey went much like any other ride hail experience, pull up the app on your smartphone, set the destination and confirm, hop in, buckle up and press, start, on one of the small control panels by each of the passenger seats. There's air conditioning, a must in Sin City's 100F, 38C, Desert Heat, and you can play music. Beyond that, the interior is pretty bare bones. Citroen 19 underscore 19 concept. 19 underscore 19 concept is a high-tech vehicle with a spectacular design, 
inspired by aerospace. It pushes comfort to the maximum, recreating a lounge experience on wheels, thanks to a smart suspension system giving passengers the sensation of gliding over the road surface. Innovative and futuristic, it offers a driving range of 800 kilometers, level for autonomous driving technology, and a personal assistant that interacts with passengers. The personal assistant comes in the form of a cylinder on the dashboard. Equipped with artificial intelligence, it helps to manage interactions with the vehicle and the passengers. Whilst the driver is driving, it remains active but does not take over. In driverless mode, the steering wheel and the pedal unit retract, and the personal assistant is deployed above the dashboard freeing up projection surface for the driver. The personal assistant has natural language voice recognition, developed by SoundHound Inc., a Silicon Valley startup. To celebrate 100 years of boldness and creativity at the service of freedom of movement, CATRON was duty-bound to present a spectacular object, a true UFO in the automotive sector. 19 underscore 19 concept is a disruptive CATRON manifesto. Tom Electric Scooter Tom by Italian startup to move can make itself compact and portable in under 7 seconds, thanks to its Swiss Army Knife Life design, that tucks most of its scooter parts into its bamboo frame. Once folded, the electric foldable scooter, can be dragged around easily like carry-on luggage with wheels. Tom does not take up so much space, since once it is folded up, the rider can just prop it up on its own or recline it on a wall with its 3.1 feet height. Such a compact size is opposed to having mid to heavyweight electric scooters that tend to block pathways and sidewalks because of their sizes and style features. There might be an undeniable design inspiration from electric bikes, with the way the electric foldable scooter Tom has its wooden shell, made from bamboo framed in an upward slope. The generously cushioned seating hides, and erects seamlessly between the wooden frame, and its front wheel can be quickly assembled for cruising by angling the forepart downward to unfold it. The handlebars are also adjustable, depending on the need of the rider. By simply pulling it up, or down, the rider can tailor its height to their desire. A slit cuts through the wooden shell to allow proper ventilation, for the bat Manta 5 Hydrofoiler SL3. Manta 5 S sole objective has been to recreate the feeling of cycling, on water with a design that prioritizes is speed, agility, and precision handling. The Hydrofoiler SL3 breaks away from conventional water bikes that utilize pontoons or hulls, offering a revolutionary new ride experience. Experience the thrill of a completely unique mode of water mobility elevated above the chop and swell. Features include patented deep water hydrofoil launching technology, 10 levels of electric assist coupled with throttle override, and quick connection parts for super easy transport and storage. In less than an hour of practice, expect to become a confident water rider. Are you ready for a new adventure? Get ready to explore over 70% of the world's surface as cyclable terrain. Composite monocoque chassis with new flotation, and mounting ergonomics combined with the fixed cord foil keeps the bike floating upright when stationary. Golabri M22 The rise in popularity of electric to wheelers across Europe has given birth to numerous new and exciting mobility devices that blew the line between a bike and electric motorcycle. One of which, is the new Colibri M22, a lightweight electric motorbike that's designed specifically for the city dweller with a penchant for adventure. The brainchild of Petr Georgescu, who also designed the incredibly lightweight Hummingbird e-bike, Colibri is a brand hopes to establish lightweight electric mobility, as a viable alternative to gas-powered transportation, with the hope of injecting a lot of fun into the equation. The result is this rugged, lightweight electric bike, that looks like a cross between a mountain bike and electric motorcycle. One glance at the bike reminds me of the cake cock. However, the Colibri M22 hides a nifty secret. I mentioned earlier that the M22 is designed for urban dwellers, and indeed, this means being able to park it in tight spaces such as apartments and office buildings. To ensure the M22 fits in most European elevators, the Colibri M22 was designed with a folding frame. The mechanism allows the rear shock to be detached from the swing arm, and the swing arm fold outward towards the belly of the bike. Once you reach your floor, you simple unfold the bike and wheel it into your apartment or office space. 